and I'm not going to look at any more text messages coming in. If you guys type, I mean, on my phone, if you guys type messages into me in, in here, of course, uh, of course, I'll respond to them. All right. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Today is Thursday, the 25th day of October 2012. Um, results in the live trading room. We were plus six ticks on gold. I took that last tick, for, uh, that last trade for three ticks profit at the end of the show. Um, we were minus eight ticks on the YM, and we're break even on the ES. Those are the only places we took trades today. Um, let me show you the place over here. We took a trade. We took two trades on the YM. Our first one was right here after a bearish cross. Pull back up and test to the BBC, and uh, we sold the BBC, and it went right through the BBC and stopped us out for minus eight ticks just occurred to me, I did not tell you, if you've not taken a free trial with us, go to www.cfrn.net forward slash apply. And if you do that, you will be sent, well, you will have two little, uh, two little entries to fill in. One is your name and one is your email address. And then you will have to opt in and be sent, a, um, be sent an email with uh, links in it to videos that show you how to download the charting platform and all the indicators and um, other links to get into our live trading room in the morning, you will have access to our live trading room for two hours per day for five business days. Um, for everyone who is on the free trial who is interested in becoming a partner, there is a partners meeting tonight. Uh, tonight at 9 p.m. every Thursday night, 9 p.m. I think this is CFRN Community Workshop number 84, I think. So that means that excluding the one Thursday um, on Thanksgiving last year, we have done this for 84 consecutive weeks. Um, yeah, be there or be square. We have uh, we have stuff that people have sent in that they want to discuss tonight. And there's some things that I want to discuss tonight, too. So there's going to be a lot to talk about, I think. Um, all right. Again, uh, if that's for the folks who are on the free trial who want to become a partner or anybody that wants to become a, become a partner, you should have an email in your inbox with all the information um, to become a free partner, if you don't have it and you want it, just send us a um, send us an email to support at cfrn.net that says partner info in the subject line. Okay, and I will get you out everything you need to know. All right, that said, let's get over here. Um, this was my first YM trade, as I said, and it did not work out for me. I lost eight ticks on that one. The next one was right over here. I had drawn this trend line in here, and we had one going on at the same time over here on the ES. Okay, and I had drawn these trend lines on both of these. They were both nice, nice pullbacks to the BBC right here. I pulled back to the BBC, tested the BBC, and that's where we actually entered. Was at the BBC with a limit order on the YM and with an MIT order on the ES. Okay, um, just covering the YM though. I put eight ticks risk on the trade. All right, and we waited as it you know, as it just played around a little bit here for it to get down below that uh, that trend line I drew on there. Now, when I drew the trend line on here, this one I drew on over here. All right, once this bar had been put in, I drew this trend line, and I said that's that's what we need to get down below. All right, that's the trend line that we're going to need to close below. And once we closed below it, that started the big move down. Okay, over here the same thing. Once we once we close below that trend line, I was saying that should start the move down, open the door to lower prices. And that's exactly what happened in both of these cases. Unfortunately, in this one right here, once it got down to the MA1 and it closed down here at the MA1, I had moved my stop to break even and it came back and took me out at break even. That's what made me minus overall, you know, made me minus eight ticks on the day on the YM. Okay, but there was a huge run down right there, big giant one. Um, okay, now, over here on the ES, let's jump back over here on the ES, um, I had two trades on the ES, one win and one loss, actually I had three trades, I had one break even, one win and one loss, now, right here we had a bearish cross, pull back up and test to the BBC, this was right on top of a news event, I, I didn't realize that I got into the trade, and there was a high impact news event coming out like two minutes later so I got out of the trade at break even you can see that that trade did work out had I stayed in it it did work out um, the next one that pulled up to the BBC I got short on that and it stopped me out to the tick right here at the top at this swing high right here to the tick it stopped me out and then it dropped all the way down here 
Um, this one, as I just showed you a minute ago, when it pulled back up here, I shorted it again, and I was anticipating it getting at least down here to the swing low. I took profit a couple ticks right up above that swing low, which happened to be two points. And I said, if it gets below the swing low, this could be the time this week that it makes it all the way down to the zone. And finally it has. It's made it all the way down to the weekly trading zone. Um, we said in the live trading room this morning, and I'll point this out to you right here, we said that this 1400, 1401 level is going to be a level that we're likely to see some kind of a bounce off of. Um, you know, and the fact that there's a weekly trading zone right there makes that an even stronger point. Um, now it's a counter trend trade, but if you wanted to do this, you could have just put a buy on down here. Maybe even split these two zones, these two lines right here, the weekly trading zone, and uh, and put an order on right there. The fact that we got a doji right there at the low inside a weekly trading zone at the 1400 level, that's that's pretty telling. Um, now granted, it's only made it back up to the BBC right here so far, but we'll see if it makes it all the way up here to the yellow brick road. Okay. Um, let's see. The NQ. I didn't trade the NQ this morning at all. As a matter of fact, gold was the only other thing that I traded. Um, let's see. On the NQ, I'm going to go through some of the trades here. I'm not going to jump through everything. But on the NQ, um, let's see. We had a bearish cross pull back up and tested the BBC with bearish divergence right in here. Okay. Um, I have some stuff to show people this morning, the guys in the live trading room this morning, um, I was looking for places just like this one right here, and I'm going to highlight this whole area so tonight when we do the uh, when we do the partners meeting, I will be able to jump right to it, okay, about how you could expect this to fall through right here. Um, I was looking for places like that this morning and I couldn't find any, and then, and then Two of them happened. There was that one right there, and there was one on the uh, Russell as well. But anyway, it pulled back up, tested the BBC, and gave a down close for an opportunity to short it. It did it again right here, but the cycle is headed up a little bit right here, so I wouldn't have taken that trade. Um, over here, we had a red area right there. See that little red area on the yellow brick road? Um, it pulled back up, and it gave the red area, and then it didn't put in a lower swing, so we wouldn't have expected this to hold all right, or to push it down. It did end up pushing it down a little bit. Um, actually push it down a lot if you take the bigger picture in, into account. Um, now at that time we had this right over here. We had bullish divergence and a bullish cross with bullish divergence to test of the BBC with an up close right in here. Okay, um, That did not put in a higher swing. It came back down, fell through the bottom. You wouldn't have anticipated this holding because this didn't put in a higher swing. Um, so it dropped through, came back up, gave an opportunity to short off of this area right here. Okay, right in there. That dropped down. We had some bearish divergence with the test of the BBC and a down close. Oops, uh, that's the wrong thing. Right in there. Now I'm going to go through this and through gold because they're, all the four tick range charts are the same. And there's tons of opportunities like this on all of them. Okay. Um... And that brought us, well, you can see I circled these already during the live trading room this morning. I was pointing those out right in here. We didn't actually hit this, and we didn't put in a higher swing, so we wouldn't anticipate that or that working. Um, as it turns out, they did, but you never would have gotten filled anyway. Um, right in here, once it gave the bullish cross and tested the BBC with the up close with the bullish divergence down here on the bottom, that right there was a place to enter. For a little bit of a gain. Um, again, it dropped down through here. When it hit here, it moved up one full bar, well, a little more than one full bar right here. So that right there is uh, is what you would have anticipated from the thing. All right. At that point, you would have had to stop at break even. Then it just the bottom fell right out. I think this was at the same time the ES was just falling apart, right in here and right in here. Okay. Um, Let's see, where could you have shorted in here? You know, there would have been momentum trades in here. You would have had some momentum trades in there um, if I had the brown line on here. But I... Um, but I... But I... Do not have that. Um, hold on a minute. Let's see. 
it dropped down here and again here and here. All right. Um, Howard, I'll have to give you a call. I just saw your email that came through. I'll give you a call in a little bit. Okay. Right up here, it pulled up and tested the BB, uh, not the BBC, it tested the BBC right here, but the cycle was going up, so you wouldn't have wanted to short there. You would have anticipated, and this was a question in the live trading room this morning, you would have anticipated it coming up here to the yellow brick road, all right, and stopping there at the yellow brick road when you had the red spot for the move down, all right. That was another example. I'm going to I'm gonna highlight this one, too. I'm going to put a big thing around it, because that's another example of something that the guys asked in the room this morning um, that I wanted to show. All right, and that's pretty much it on the YM. I mean, on the NQ. Sorry, jeez, I keep mixing things up. Let me show you gold because that's where I took some trades today. At the end of the morning session, I had traded. Mm, hang on, just a second. Um, uh, <laughs> okay. At the end of the morning session, I shorted right in here. Right, well, I'm going to use the yellow arrow. I shorted right in there and took profit right down here. Okay, it was only three ticks profit. Um, okay, Robin is off. She can't, she's got some some housing issues she's got to deal with right now. Um, something going wrong with her. Some pest. All right, here we had a, um, this was the open, okay? We had everything fell right through right here. Now it pulled back up to the BBC with bearish divergence. Right here was an opportunity to short the gold. Um, it didn't put in a lower swing, and it pulled back to the BBC right here. You know, by the time it pulled back up over here and gave the down close, things were blue and headed up. Um, you wouldn't have anticipated that, that going down again, um, or the BBC holding there. Uh, right in here. This area right here, because we had, you know, we weren't really coming off a lower low over here, I wouldn't have anticipated this working. Um, and right in here, we had bullish divergence, bullish cross, tested the BBC with an up close. Now, let me go through that slowly. Okay. This right here, where the MA1 crosses over the green line, which is the BBC, is the bullish cross. Once you have the bullish cross, you expect price to pull away from the BBC which is this space right in here. I'm slowing it down, Frank. Um, right in here. Okay. Um, we had right here, we had a, um, well, we had, a <laughs> we had an area up here that it just stopped that, and we're looking for it to pull back down and test the BBC. Okay. Jesus, it's hard when I go slow. Um, when it pulled down to the BBC, it was looking for an area of support. Once it finds the area of support, you're looking at down here to see if you have bullish divergence. All right. Once we get the bullish divergence, we test the BBC. Um, then we have um, an up close. That's what you want to get, a close in the direction of the cross. All right. It's an up cross, an up close is what you want. So the up close is right here. It's a dragonfly doji, actually, and that would have been a place to enter, okay? Now, over here, um, you know, over here, this right here was another spot to enter. Um, <clears throat> that one, obviously, I don't think would have worked out as well. Over here, it hit the blue, and it gave one full bar on the upside. It actually gave a whole bunch of bars on the upside. Um, but that was... That is how you trade it. Over here is the trade that I took. We had a bearish cross, a test of the BBC with a down close. I shorted it right in here. I took some profit. Um, it did it again right here with the same the same bearish divergence right in here. Okay. And then it gave over here at least a one bar bounce off of that line right there. Okay, and then it moved up through it. Um, let's see... This was the last trade that I took this morning, um, right here, once we had the bearish cross, the test of the BBC, and the down close with the bearish divergence right in here. Okay, that was my trading on the morning. Um, I don't know, does anybody want me to go over any of the other markets right now? I can go over... Uh,
crude oil. I didn't actually trade them. Oh, you know what? You know what I do want to go over? I'll go over the uh, the euro. Okay, that's what I do want to go over. Um, here we go. On the euro. Let's see. Here on the euro, I am looking at... I want to start over here where the markets actually opened up, where the European markets opened up. Uh, price came down here and it tapped the yellow line right here. You see it. It tapped right there um, for the possible move up. Um, now, I know there was this right here, and it didn't give a higher swing, so you may not have wanted to do that, or you may have wanted to wait for an up close before doing that. Okay. Um, again, over here, we had a higher swing right here, and it came back down. Got it right there. Another higher swing right there, and it came back down. And depending on what your risk was, I actually I think you would have probably stopped out using 8 ticks risk on this. I think I went through that. Um, 3013 dropped down to 3004. Yeah, an 8 tick stop. That dropped down 9 ticks. So that would have stopped you out right there. Um, this one right here, though, if you shorted it right up here, you would have made some profit. This one right here, you would have made at least one bar's profit. Um, and then there were more opportunities just off the BBC right here, you know, with the bearish divergence, the bearish cross, the test of the BBC, and the down close. And more of it right in here. I'm trying to slow it down a little bit. Okay, I'm slowing it down. Um, another one right here. This one went right through the BBC and we didn't have the divergence. So at that point, you start looking for it to pull back up here to the uh, to the yellow brick road. Right? That's what you're looking for up there. It hits it and it moves down and down and down and down. And that's that's pretty much what happened on the euro this morning. Okay. We didn't really look much at the soybeans. We looked at it for just a couple of minutes. I didn't follow it this morning much. It was really choppy right here at the open. And once it started to move, though, as it usually does, the soybeans dropped. You know, it dropped about eight cents, something like that. Um, let's see. Yeah, slow dancing with the euro. <laughs> um, all right, I think. That that is where I'm going to wrap it up for the morning. We did gold, um, the euro. We did soybeans pretty quick. The NQ, the ES, the YM. Um, I think that's a good spot to wrap it up. Now, again, let me say, if you haven't taken a free trial with us and you want to take a free trial with us, you will get all the indicators, the charting platform, and all that stuff. Um, just go to www.cfrn.net forward slash apply. Okay, if you are on the free trial with us and you want to um and you want to <laughs> and you want to become a partner and get into the partners meeting with us tonight, you should have an email with an offer in your inbox. Um what it takes to become a partner and everything else. You just got to get that paperwork filled out and we'll get you into that partners meeting tonight. All right. Um all right. That's it, guys. With that I am going to stop the recording here and